Welcome everyone, this is Weems from Grow Up and Game, and I think I understand what's going on here now. We are playing Druidstone, The Secret of the Minear Forest, and after a little bit of investigation, uh, I figured out a few key facts. First off, you can replay levels. So I actually went ahead and replayed that first level, Truffle Cap Heaven. It had this bonus objective of completing the mission without taking any damage, and I decided to go ahead and, well, do that. Uh, but as you can see up here, it keeps track of how many times you've played it and gives you a penalty, an ever-increasing penalty at that, every time you play. So there is kind of a, a soft cap to how much you can play a level, which I think is nice. So my concerns last time about, hey, should I be trying to kill every single monster, yada, 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 a little bit mitigated by this. Uh, if you're determined enough, you can probably make up whatever, you know, minor difference in experience you miss by not cleaning house every time you beat a level. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and as far as what it took to actually get this bonus objective done, uh, it was really just about positioning my characters in a way that split up the little maggots enough, or the maggots, the slimes enough, that uh, they didn't go and hit the guy I couldn't control in the middle. So, yeah, we're able to do that. I haven't redone any of these missions. As you can see, if I were to try and redo the Oak Shield's demand, it would be a 50% experience penalty. Uh, as far as what experience actually does for you, I'm not sure yet, because this guy's level one, this guy's level two, this, or, this guy's level one, this guy's level one, and Oiko here is level two, but I think Oiko's always been level two, so I haven't actually seen a level up take place. We, does, we do appear to have equipment slots, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't really have anything for him, though, so it looks like... Oh, no gems. Here, we'll get into that in a second. But eventually we'll get more equipment. If we go up here, we see that I have 115 gold. It says gold can be used to purchase new equipment from Steelface. I don't know who Steelface is, but I'm sure we will find out before too long. However, you will see that I have zero power gems. That's not entirely true. I actually have two power gems. Only I have placed them inside of Leonhard's abilities here. Uh, specifically his charge, which increases the range. And then his whirlwind, so I get an extra whirlwind. And you can actually just right-click them and pull them out. So you have the ability to play around with you know, various skills. And yeah, it works pretty well. But I'm going to go and keep it in this charge. We're going to keep this guy aggressive, charging, and whirlwinding, and just batting people around. So there we go. That's the basics that I figured out in the last, you know, 20 minutes or so here. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick a level. Uh, we could do the beacons. You know, I want to stay in the woods for now. So the Emnia Wood. Let's read this message here. From Fernos to Ava. Subject, my favorite niece. I thought she said she had no family. That's just not true. Uh, I have found something wonderful. I'm near Emnia Wood, and I'll be damned if I know precisely where. After a while, all these trees start to look the same. I know you and my brother and sis, they're all different, but I can't see it. In any case, if you happen to be in the neighborhood, perhaps you could help me with my research and show me the way out of this damnable thicket. So let's call it the Pyroform Egg. Let's do it. I do appreciate how quick the load times are in this game. It is basically instant. Look at it. Is it really? Could it be? Is it even worth considering? Such a resonance. Why, I'm almost sure. Oh, you didn't notice that uh, we were here? Hmm? Oh. Okay. Apparently, this guy's on a mission. Where would you put this egg in the pattern of an... Organismal phylogenetic classification. Fair response. <laughs> Since Pearl Carnal Utterbach discovered the floor inside the skull of a Balaruga. Well, me? So you're doing it again. Oh, this guy. Dare say he's a warden, is he not? So is it the warden or a warden? Like, I'm trying to understand 
the level of importance that Leonard has right now. Ava, I get carried away. It is lovely to see you. How's your father? Never miss gossip, my friends, my dear niece. May I present to you one and only Agava Hypsilurus found in the continent in over a century. Oh, so I go know something we don't. Fancy way of saying forest dragon. Take another 40 so years to hatch, if my calculations are correct. I'm going to guess that his calculations are not correct. Is Mama here? Of course. Oh dear. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> the mission is to escort, escort Furnos to the exit by spending an action point. Each hero can move Furnos three squares towards the exit. Well, that's good. All right, so it's going to be a little bit of a race against time here. Oh, what is this? Music. Oh, whistle. Oh, lure him towards you. Okay, I don't know how much I want to get in range of these guys. Three damage, one armor. One damage, one armor. So, Ava here. We can, we can pop these guys. Well, she only needs to move, like, a square. Oh, by a square, I mean two squares. We'll pop him. Oh, she didn't really kill anyone, did he? So we're going to have her do that. Leonard, we're going to have him move back. And whistle. Two, three. And Oiko, we're going to have you do the same thing. Can I just do a portal swap? That seems way more productive. Hey. Yeah, this is going to be a good way to get people moving. And, yep, you're going to keep moving here. Open all chests. So we got two chests. We got some enemies over here. Oh, there's going to be an interesting kind of pressure right here. This is kind of a cool level. All right, we're going to turn. And what do we got? Oh, so these things are going to keep spawning here. Not ideal. And you're going to pop him. And we're going to not pick up that gold. We're going to move here. Let's see. How can we do this? Uh, we can move. Actually, how far does his swap work? So it goes to right there. Hmm. And it's a free action, though. So if we go... Uh, he can't move any further, can he? So we can go here. And he can defend. No guard. And Force Bolt does not quite reach there. So that's, that's Focus. Yeah, that doesn't help me either. Alright, we're going to end turn. And pop! Perfect. Just as I planned. Yep, oh, he got the health. Yeah, so my boy's getting a little messed up here. That's okay. So when they pop out, they kind of stay in the neutral position. So we're going to go. Here's our first whirlwind. Cut these guys down in size a little bit. And good. We can pick up an extra heart. Make our way towards the chest. And we're going to get moving. So we're going to pop down here. Uh, she's doesn't really have much to do here, does she? So we can move down here and whistle them over. And that should be the turn. It'd be nice to have a few more options for this guy. So what I really could have done there is whistled him over just one point of movement and then use her to whistle a few more. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, these guys are following me. That's not good. Uh, they, yeah, they got way too much health to chew through. So this is definitely a... We need to make sure we kill this guy or just keep this guy away from him type of situation. 
Well, we're gonna get rid of this guy. We're gonna go down here. Yeah, from a movement standpoint, we need to we need to keep on whistling. Oh, that's the exit right up here. So we're pretty close. We got what two chests here? How do we reach that? Reinforcements are coming in there. How do we get around that? Hmm. So we're gonna just tank some damage for a little bit. Whistle. Come on over here. We're gonna open that. We got a potion. What does that do? Restore yourself from an adjacent target to full health and remove all harmful conditions. That's a free action. That's actually pretty cool. So I can't hit him. Uh, what I can do is position myself. Yeah, I'll take the hit. That's fine. End turn. I want, yeah, I want these guys to swarm me. Uh, if I was really thinking, I would have just jutted a little closer. Here comes this guy. It's taking my health. Oh, what are these guys? Spawnlings. All right, I'm gonna chug that potion. Seems like a good opportunity to do so. So I'm healed up. Yeah, I'm whirlwinding. Let's go pop these guys in the face. And while I'm at it, so I'm out of abilities there. I'm gonna try and keep this here. We'll come back to that. She needs to whistle our boy over this way. Yeah, you need to get over yourself for the time being. Let's go this way. And yeah, we're gonna do a little force bolt. Ooh. Where do I wanna just nuke the Beastmaster? I'm not super worried about these wasps. She can actually help take care of them. I am a lot more worried about these guys. Oh, or actually, we could do a focus force bolt. I could hit both of them. Because I'll knock out three. This guy has no armor. You know what? Let's do that. We're going to focus, force bolt. Oh, no, we're going to focus. There we go. He's all focused up. I'm going to force bolt. One, two, uh out of range. Oh, can I already target it? Okay, so it has to be separate targets. We're gonna go ahead and use it. Alright, that's actually pretty cool. That's a nice little ability. And we are going to end turn. Of course, we got more guys continuously spawning here. Why wouldn't we? So, ah, uh, he's popping force bolts. Ow! Okay, that was just not pleasant. That was not pleasant at all. So we have kind of a choice here. We can probably finish up pretty quickly here. So let's go over here. Ow. We're gonna whistle our guy over here. You know, for the first level, I'm not looking for style points. Uh, I'm looking for just getting through it. So if we go up here. I uh, will save her as or him as my backup just in case. We're gonna whistle. I'll bring him right on to where we want. So does it immediately end the level? Oh, it does. Kill one basilisk as a bonus objective. Now because you can come back to these levels you know, at a higher level. I could see this just being one of those things where I go and replay it and just call it a day. But on the bright side, we got a level up here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that gives us. Did anyone... Oh, and apparently all the enemies just despawn. Okay. I mean, what a shame. Wonderful... I made quite an omelet. You're right. Upset. Oh. Galled away? My brother's been taken? Apparently everyone's been taken. Monster. Oh, Roots. What a terrible thing. So 
it must have been a lot of fun just coming up with as many, you know, druid puns as you possibly could. I'm home to. Thank you for doing this, friends. I feel foolish about making such a fuss about the egg now. It was a hell of an egg. Great egg. The best egg. Oh, that's it? Good luck on your mission? Just kind of... Just kind of letting bygones be bygones at that point? Alright, well, I guess that's kind of neat. Ooh, the Fury and Wetlands. Alright, let's go see what, uh... What leveling up is here. Here we go here. So, click to level up. Cool. Choose an upgrade for level two. So, oh, so she gets either the focus ability or protect. And focus protects all heroes. Huh. That's pretty neat. I'm a fan. So what I wonder, is armor like negative damage? Is it percentage damage? Uh, either way, uh, let's go step away. Actually, what does armor do? It's going to tell me. Of course not. Can we focus these? Heals three tar- Ooh, that's nice. Focus, revive all knocked out heroes. Hey, right, we're going to go with focus. I like that. Select. So we now have focus. Very cool. And you know what? That leaves us in a good spot for now. So I'm going to go and probably do a, a little dry run of Dawnstone Meadow. Uh, just or pro specifically the Oak Shields demand level. Just to go and push Lee and Hardier over the edge. And then we'll pick it back up from there. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, then uh, go away. I, I, get, I couldn't appease you, so... Uh, that's just what it is. That's just how life goes sometimes. But thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a good rest of your day, week, month, year in life. This is Weems signing off.